Nana Akosuya Frimpong Makama Kama of the Convention People's Party and Mohamed Frimpong of the National Democratic Party. The candidates who were disqualified after the thorough review process are Mr. Samuel Api Adankwa, an independent candidate, Mr. Ms. Janet Nabela, an independent candidate, Mr. Desmond Abrifa, an independent candidate, Nana Jepong Stevens, an independent candidate, Mr. Paul Perko, an independent candidate, Mr. Bonner, Mr. Bonner, Bernard Mona of the People's National Convention, James Kwesi Opong, an independent candidate, Mr. Samuel Sapong Ankara, an independent candidate, Mr. Nia Mudaku, an independent candidate, and Mr. Asamwa Siao of the People, Progressive People's Party. It is important to note that the candidate for the Progressive Alliance for Ghana Mr. John Kweku Pipi withdrew his nominations after the filing process. And here, I would like to briefly take us through the findings. Mr. Mahamadou Baume of the NPP satisfied all the requirements and was cleared by the two committees established to do so. Mr. Kofi Apalu initially had issues with his tax certificate. However, he was provided an opportunity to correct it, and the issues were resolved, and he was cleared by the committee. Mr. Andrews, Mr. Christian Andrews of the Ghana Union Movement initially had incomplete details for his vice presidential candidate and incomplete records for some of the supporters. The issues were, however, resolved after he was provided with an opportunity to correct same. Mr. Kwame Bediaku initially had no tax clearance certificate for his vice presidential candidate. And the photo size that he presented was not a postcard. However, he corrected these issues and was cleared by the committee. Mr. George Chumberima Edu, an independent candidate, had no symbol and color and colors to represent himself. However, he was provided with an opportunity and the issues were resolved within the nomination period and he was cleared by the committee. Mr. Hassan Ayarega presented only one completed nomination form. form. The other two did not have some pages, I think from page 137 to 142. The issues, he was presented with these findings and he went on to correct them and he was cleared by the committee. Mr. John Dramani Mahama of the NDC satisfied all requirements and was cleared by the committee. Mr. Alan Kojo Tremanting, independent candidate, satisfied all requirements and was cleared by the committee. Madam Ekwia Donko of the Ghana Freedom Party also resolved issues to do with her nomination. She was subsequently cleared by the committee. Mr. Daniel Augustus Latte also had a number of issues to do with his form. The issues were, however, resolved, and he was cleared by the committee. Madam Akosuya Frimpoma Kamankama had a number of issues, and these issues were brought to her attention and the attention of the party, and they were able to satisfy the requirements, and the committee cleared them. Mohamed Frimpon of the NDP also had a number of issues ranging from a no, non-submission of a tax clearance certificate for the vice presidential candidate and incomplete particulars of some supporters. The issues were resolved within the nomination period and he was cleared by the committee. Mr. Kofi Koranting also had a number of issues 
including the use of registered voters in a particular district to support the nomination in another district. His issues were, however, brought to his attention and he rectified them and was cleared by the candidate. So these are the 13 candidates who were cleared by the two committees. Mr. Samuel Apiadankwa, independent candidate, was however presented with a number of issues to resolve, including and not filing a tax certificate for his vice presidential candidate. And then some of his pages were omitted from the form and he had incomplete particulars for some of his supporters. Unfortunately, though he was provided with the opportunity to correct this, he was unable to do so and the committee was recommended that he be disqualified. Ms. Janet Asana Nabila also used the registration details of particular voters to support her nomination of the registration details of supporters in certain districts to support her nomination in other districts. Again, the vice presidential candidate did not sign the nomination form. The issues were, however, not resolved, and the committees recommended that she be disqualified. Mr. Desmond Abrifa, an independent candidate, he also used the registration details of voters in a particular district to support the nomination in other districts. He was presented with these findings, but was not able to resolve them, and the committee requ required or requested that he be disqualified. Nana Jepon Stevens, an independent candidate, also used the registration details of voters in a particular district to support the nomination in other districts. In addition, he had incomplete particulars for supporters. He was not responsive to the nomination requirements and the committee re required and asked that he be disqualified. Mr. Bernard Nad Mona also had incomplete particulars of supporters. He also used registered voters in a particular district to support his, the nomination in other districts. He also, his form also contained varying signatures for the same supporters, and in some cases, the same signature for different supporters. The committee was of the view that he be disqualified. <laughs> Mr. Perko, Mr. Paul Perko, an independent candidate, had incomplete particulars for his supporters, and he also used registered voters in a particular district to support the nomination in other districts and the committee recommended that he be disqualified. Mr. James Opong, an independent candidate, his statutory declaration was not notarized. Additionally, he used registered voters in a particular district to support the nomination in other districts, and the committees recommended that he be disqualified. Mr. Samuel Sapong, Ankara, an independent candidate also used registered voters in a particular district to support the nomination of other districts. And he was not able to effect the corrections of this. And the committees recommended that he be disqualified. Mr. Niamudaku, the committee found that his forms were incomplete. And again, he also used registered voters in a particular district to support the nominations in other districts, and the committee recommended that he be disqualified. Last but not least is Mr. Kofi Asamasiao of the People's PPP, Progressive People's Progressive Party. He used registered voters in a particular district to support the nomination in other districts. Additionally, he had incomplete particulars of some of the supporters, and he was unable to satisfactorily correct these anomalies and the committee recommended that he be disqualified. As mentioned earlier, the candidate for the Progressive Alliance Ghana, Mr. Pipi, withdrew after his, his, the filing process. He did file, but prior to 
you know, the decisions being made, he, he withdrew his, his, his nomination forms. And therefore, ladies and gentlemen, out of the total of the 24 nominations received, the two committees tasked to review the forms and to make recommendations to the commission have cleared 13 candidates. And once again, I'd like to mention them. Mr. Ba Mahamadou Bawemia of the New Patriotic Party, Mr. John Dramani Mahama of the National Democratic Congress, Mr. Alan John Kojo Tremanting, an independent candidate, Mr. Christian Kwabena Andrews, Ghana Union Movement, Mr. Daniel Augustus Latte of the Ghana Great Consolidated People's Party, Mr. George Chumberima, an independent candidate, Mr. Nanakwami Bediaku, an independent candidate, Mr. Hassan Ayarigao, People's Congress, Mr. Kofi Apalu of the Liberal Party, Ghana, Madam Ekwe Adonko, Ghana Freedom Party, Madam Akosuya Frempoma Kamankama of the Convention People's Party, Mr. Mohamed Frempong of the National Democratic Party, and Mr. Kofi Kranting, an independent candidate. I'd like to mention that the commission upheld the recommendations made by the two candidates and to add that the committees that were established have spoken. It is important to note again that all the presidential candidates were provided an opportunity to correct the errors of their nomination forms. Detailed feedback was sent to each candidate to assist them with the information. I'd like to also note that those who were not able to qualify were not, were not able to correct the errors identified with their nomination forms, hence their disqualification. This afternoon, the agents of the candidates who qualified to contest as presidential candidates for the 2024 election will ballot to pick their positions to determine the order in which they would appear on the ballot paper. And I believe that we'll be welcoming them shortly. Distinguished citizens, as we head towards the 7th December general elections, we urge all of you to work with the commission to strengthen and uphold the integrity of our systems and the commission as a whole. Our doors remain open, and we assure our stakeholders that we are receptive to constructive feedback and advice. Indeed, the feedback and advice from Ghanaians, which we receive on a daily basis, has helped to enrich our work and enabled us to serve you better. Before we bring the curtain to a close and go on to the balloting for positions, we would like to wish all the qualified candidates the best of luck in their bid to ascend the high office of the presidency. We urge all candidates to engage in a decent campaign, a campaign based on policies and programs that will lead to the betterment of our society. As referees, our role is simply to arrange and organize orderly, fair, transparent, and credible elections. We assure you that we are working to do just that. We as a commission do not have the power to determine who wins elections. It is not in our control to determine the outcome of the election. The power indeed lies with the good people of our dear country. It is only the citizens and the citizens alone who can determine who should lead them, not the electoral commission. It is the candidate who is given power to lead this country by the citizens who will be declared the president of the Republic of Ghana by the Electoral Commission come the 7th of December, 2024. To the aspiring presidential candidates who did not make this 
process. We wish you better luck next time. Your filing fee would be refunded to you. And to all of you, our distinguished citizens, we thank you for believing in us and for walking this journey with us. We pledge that we will conduct ourselves in truth and integrity and organize free, fair, credible, transparent elections come December 7th, 2024. We will not let you down. On your part, we charge you to uphold and defend the good name of Ghana and her institutions. So help us God. May God bless our homeland Ghana and make our nation great and strong. Let peace reign. Thank you.